first bit of X Games hardware on Friday night. She got a bronze medal in big air, and she gets us started here on the Jeep Slope Style course. Eileen, tell us a little bit about what this course is like, how it compares to previous X Games courses in the past. Absolutely. I think what really makes this course stand out so much are these shark fins. You'll see Kirsty going into them right now, hitting the first one switch. Um, very technical. Um, you really have to learn your lines going into them. And judges will be scoring on amplitude, execution, of course, but on these shark fins especially, making sure you go big um, and, and making it look good. So you see Kirsty doing that here with the right cork seven and coming into her last jump. A left up 12, very exciting. Good run from Kirsty. very exciting to see her do that double on her first run out here. She also looked really clean through the rail section up top. And here's that bottom second to last jump, opening up a bit early, not getting the grab and really just making sure she can land and set up for this last trick with the double cork 12. Gonna need to clean things up, but getting a first run down in your first next game. Yeah, these women are definitely holding their breath down at the bottom. Their podium position is not secure just yet. Here's Matilde coming in, definitely is a threat to the podium if she's able to put down a run. Looking so clean through the first two rails. I really love her first rail with two swaps in there, so unique. And there's the switch 270 on, sliding all the way to the end, looking so clean. I love that tail grab on her alley-oop seven there. Other way, alley-oop nine, and setting up for the bottom two jumps. Switch 540. And the left double cork 1080, finally putting one down. Gonna have to see what the judges do with it. I mean, so much talent. We've seen so many great runs today, but that does feel good, regardless of placement, to get a good run to your feet. That has got to feel good. Her last run at X Games, finally able to put down her whole run. This is her first time even. Moment as well. Back to you guys in the booth. Well, she definitely put in the work Friday night, and that was an understatement. She had a perfect score of 50 when she landed that triple, and she's looking at doubling up with her second gold of the weekend. Sitting in the top spot, and Megan probably doesn't need to do more, but from the sounds of it, from what Bruce is saying, I have a feeling she is not going to hold back at all. I am just so curious as to what this special surprise is. <laughs> she already has such an incredible run for us. What could she possibly do to up the ante even more? Seeing her going into that switch double cork 900, landing so clean into the right side 12. Oh my goodness, just so clean, so good. And the fact that she landed that run three times is yeah. just absolutely mind-blowing, just the consistency on that. And you can see a lot of the girls in the field today were struggling with conditions, um, the course itself, and just being able to be that consistent with a run of this technicality is incredibly impressive. Props to you, Megan.